Good morning. First, I have an update on the knife attack that happened in Germany on Friday in this town of Würzburg. Apparently, this is what happened. This guy came from Somalia to Germany in 2015. And on Friday, he went into this store and he asked for the knives, the kitchen knives. And there was a saleswoman there. She said, you know, it's over here. He grabbed a knife and then he killed her. Yeah. Then he killed two more women in the shop. He also injured five other women. So three women were killed, five women were injured. One of them is seriously, like fighting for her life, injured, right? And a child. He was cornered by people there, right? So if it wasn't for the citizens there, he would have gone on killing people, women, I suppose. Yeah. And then the police came, shot him and arrested him. So he wasn't killed. You would think that this story should be reported by mainstream media. No. Not much about this at all. No. I wonder why. Is it because he's, he was a Muslim? I just want, I'm just asking. Is it because he was from, uh, well, he was black, wasn't he? So you don't talk about this story. All right, uh, strange days we live in, yes. All right, here's another strange story. This is from Houston in the United States. This hospital, I talked about this earlier. They said to their staff, they said, you have to take the shot or you will get fired. Right. The Methodist Hospital, I think, in Houston. Now, a lot of these staff, nurses, they didn't like it. So they went to court with this. Yeah. The court said, well, in the court, one of them, one of the nurses said, this is like experimentation uh, during the Holocaust. Yeah. You give these people in the concentration camps uh, things, you know, you inject something into them as an experimentation. It's like this. That's what she said in the court. The judge said, no, no it isn't. It's not like this at all. And the judge said, no, you can't, um, well, you have to do what your employer says. So now 153, 153 employees at this Houston hospital who refused to get the job. They have been either fired or they'd resign. This is so weird. Yeah. Right. Finally, I have this story. This is from Scotland. Uh, Greens, the Green Party in Scotland. The Greens seem to be quite similar all over the place. Yeah. Uh, they don't want their party, the Green Party, to cooperate with the governing SNP party because the SNP party they think is they say is transphobic <laughs> yeah. yeah it's funny I don't I don't know why it's funny it's just interesting the Greens funny people uh, they also demand the Scottish Scottish government to repeal the prostitution act from 2007 this is a law from 2007, which criminalized the sale of sex in public, right? So they want this law to be uh, removed, right? <laughs> Why? Because many of the, in the trans community are working, uh, selling sex. So this is discrimination against trans people. Yeah, these people, the Greens, uh, interesting people. <laughs> I wonder what it's like to live with the, somebody who is active in the Green Party. You know? Or if you have a friend who's active. 
I wonder what it's like. I, I don't actually know anyone, really. I used to, yeah, uh, know some people in the Green Party. Yeah. But not anymore. All right. Be good.